Good evening, my dear children. Uh, today, actually, a special day because we are going to start our very first lesson, grade six. And uh, before we begin, I just want to give a, a small uh, recap or the overview about your book and its syllabus. Uh, grade six book, you can download it from uh, LMS because I have already published it there in our LMS ed module. So you can just go there and download if you have already created the login. If not, so let me uh, let, let me know if you have any issues because I can help you remotely to create the login. Then only you can access the resources and materials as well as then only you can submit the assignments. So that is very important. We have small quizzes going on there and assignments where you can submit and see your marks that time. Uh, the submission type itself, you can see your marks. So all the, uh, in addition to that, all the lecture materials as well as the recordings of the previous class will be published there in your Edmodu. So it is very important to create that free account. And if you have already created that, no issue. If you have not created, it's not issue for the moment, but by next week, please try to create it uh, for free. So in any case, you can just call me, I'll assist you, right? And read six book, uh, let's go to the table of content and this is TOC for grade six. And we will be starting from importance of computers. And second chapter is about use of computer lab laboratory in safe, that is actually basically the safe safety, safety use of the computer. And um, the third one is operating systems and file management. You will be learning about windows and their file system. Uh, like uh, FAT and DFS and the, how it's managed out there. And then there is actually a practical lesson. Uh, and then the fourth one, input devices, it's about mouse and keyboard, as well as use of application software, which is uh, going to be there on top of the operating system. There are a number of application softwares, including Paint, Word application, Excel and all and you'll be learning about those things and then uh, the fifth one quite serious lesson is about algorithms and flow charts so before we instruct the computer what to do and how to do we should know a proper methodology so algorithm is all about forming a methodology or forming a kind of uh, structure uh, before we begin the programming so flowchart is a tool which is used in system designing before we implement or before we code into the system. So flowchart is kind of planning tool. We will, we will be learning about that part in uh, chapter number five. That is the latter part of this book. And then the sixth one, use of internet for collection, collecting information, communication, a very important lesson today because how we all are connected in this kind of pandemic situation, basically because of internet, it has, it is not just for remote access, it's not just for web, it is not just for uh, emails, it has many other services attached to it. Internet is the infrastructure and in, in this infrastructure you have number of services running. So we will be learning about that and those services. So today we will be starting from uh, the first chapter, importance of computers. So let's refer to the topic. So it is about uh, get to know about the computer, your friend who's going to help you uh, uh, to learn the subject as well as uh, he's the one going to help you throughout your journey because in future without computer, without computing knowledge. So it's very difficult to face and deal with the world and very it's very difficult to educate it is very difficult to learn as well as it's very difficult to survive because for any other application you need computers and computing devices it's for e-commerce it's for uh, fashion it's for entertainment education and much more right okay uh, so when you learn about the computer uh, so computer is a it's a device uh, I, I would like to name it as a system rather than a device because it has many components attached to it, like keyboard, mouse, and maybe touchpad, touchscreen, and printer, scanners, 
webcam, many other components attached to it working together as a system. So we call, even though it is electronic device, it is better to call that as electronic system, which, with, which has a lot of component, interrelated component attached to it to perform the basic task of data processing. The functions of data uh, of computer, <coughs> they have indi also indicated that, so when you give an input, it will process and produce the output. That is the main functionality of computer. You can give inputs to it. So similar to your body, think about your mouth. It is used to give food. So think about your ears. So to, uh, to input sound, you use your ears, nose, smell, eyes, pictures, or visual data. So then skin, sensors. So likewise, we have sensors. We have eyes, nose, ears. Likewise, as human beings, we have different, different input devices to take input from outside the world. And we will take those inputs from our input devices like eyes, nose, ears. Then we will process those inside our brain. After processing that inside our brain, we will be uh, after processing inside that uh, after processing that inside our brain we will be producing different different output we will be producing feedbacks 